everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because in today's video we are going to do my very first project pan update. So I have all my things in here and I am ready to talk about every single one of them and show you the progress that I made. I am very pleased with the progress. So let me tell you, I cannot wait to share, share with you all the things that I did. And if you're interested in that, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and keep on watching. All right, so let's start with primers. I had uh, two primers in my uh, project pan and I actually did finish both of them. So I had this one from Vidia Lumi Layer Primer. This was almost done. Um, I know it looks like it has just a teeny tiny bit on the bottom, but I tried to scrape the everything out of it and until I couldn't and I couldn't do it anymore but yeah I did finish this one this one was around here last time and I only used it how many times I used it nine times and uh, now it is done I am so excited to finish this one I had it in my collection for about two years and I do really enjoy this one I think I may purchase it again if it's on sale but yeah this is a really really nice one um and then I did finish elf Forless Pro uh, potty primer this one I had it for a while too I gotta say and this is how much it used to be like the round circle that's the middle it was all uh, done it was only what was left on the sides and I did finish it off I did use this one six times it's all clean in there um I would not repurchase this I did I did not enjoy it that much to be honest with you it was okay but I feel like it was too silicone for my liking sometimes it will peel off depending on what other types uh, of products I would wear on my face so I'm I don't know I don't like this that much you may like it more than I do but I'm definitely not gonna repurchase this type of product all right next in here we have angel eyes and this one I wish I could tell you I finished it but no that that's not happening I used this one 13 times and um, last time I used to have it up until here, now it is around here. So I did make some progress and um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it in my um, rolling project pan or just put it aside, we will see. But yeah, I used this one 13 times. I'm not saying I am really in love with it. It's an okay primer. It doesn't do that much to be like, oh, wow, I really love this primer. It's just, it's it's fine, I guess. It's not, it's not doing anything more than what a normal concealer will be able to do for you. Now, foundations. I have to say that foundations, I did such a big progress. I am beyond pleased <laughs> with the progress that I made. So I had this... Skin Perfect HD Foundation from Koki. And this one, before I put it in this project pan, I only used it maybe two or three times. And uh, I had a whole month to, with it. And I have to say, I do um, enjoy it, but not enough for me to repurchase this. It was an okay one. I did use it for 18 times um, during this time. And it, it's okay, it's mid coverage. I did combine it with this one from uh, Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation because it's a little bit too light. But I do like the two together. What can I say? They're okay, it's not necessarily something that I'm losing my head over it, 
um, and I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. I only have until here. I'm not going to keep this anymore. I'm definitely just going to put it in my empties as an empty and consider an empty. This one I will not consider an empty just yet. I will continue to keep it in my collection to use. Now let's talk about concealers. Uh, so I am excited to say that I finally finished this KKW concealer, which I really did enjoy a lot. I have used this one um, six times before I finished it. It's hard to see inside of it, but I used it until um, the uh, spoolie was dry and I did use it six times. I'm really excited to finish this one. I had it way too long in my collection, maybe around a year and a half or so. So I'm glad to finish this one and I do really enjoy it. Probably I'm going to repurchase this one at some point in time later on. But then I had this one too from e.l.f. Um, I don't know. <laughs> So hear me out. I don't like this one. I just, I don't like this concealer. Mainly it's color, also coverage. It's a bunch of things, but I did use quite a lot until here. Um, and it used to be all the way up here. So I did use quite a lot. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I have the other concealer uh, from e.l.f. This is the hydrating camo concealer and I also have just the camo concealer one. I might just take them out of my collection um, because I'm not going to use them again. I, I don't think so. I, I just don't think I'm going to do that. So we shall see. I will still have to think about that, but I don't like that concealer. I just don't like it. All right. Next in here, we have face powders. So for face powders, I had three in my project. I have to say three were too much in uh, to have it, but especially in the winter time and I don't need that much powder anymore because I'm not going to work as I used to. Before I would have to powder my face a lot. So just to make sure that I don't, uh, my makeup is not melting off while I'm at work. But now since I'm home, I don't need powder that much anymore. But I did make some progress with this um, Illuminating Banana Powder from Derma Blend. And I used this one 14 times. I really do, did enjoy this one. I still have a ton of it still left in here. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to utilize more of it this year. But I'm definitely going to take this one out of this uh, project and try to introduce something else in. Um, another thing in here, I have this one from Fit Me, the loose finishing powder in light medium. I did enjoy this one. I did use it not that much this time. I only used it seven times. But I have to say, I think I'm just ready to let this one go. Uh, although I still have some powder in there, I think it's time to let it go and I'm just going to count it as finishing it up because I had this one for quite a while and I don't think I want to use more of it. Um, it is a good powder. It's just a little bit too drying for me. Um, so, and I have some better powders that I found that I really want to use and I just don't want to put my brain with this one right now. And next one in here, I have this one right here that is uh, Makeup Forever, the powder uh, foundation. And I used this one five times. It's an okay powder. Um, I'm going to keep keep it. I did have it for a year. I think I may be putting it back in a rolling pad, but for right now, I'm definitely going to take this one out. Now let's go to my favorite bronzers. I am so excited to show you that I finally hit pan and this bronzer right here that is from Ulta Beauty and this is the matte bronzer. I finally did it. I hit pan in a bronzer 
yay 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 so i used this one 16 times i'm really excited that i did use it i think i may keep it for the next project pan as well to try to finish it up we'll see but for now i'm excited to tell you i hate pan okay yay <laughs> i also had this one in here this is from physicians formula bought a bronzer and i did enjoy this one too i made quite a dent into this one as well i have not used this one as much as the other one this one i used it 10 times but yeah i did some progress with the bronzers for sure um <laughs> i didn't do as much progress with blushes but here we are so i have this butter blush from physicians formula this is how it looks like it doesn't look like i use it that much and i did use it actually i did use it like 12 times but it just doesn't show it it doesn't show anything so that one i'm definitely gonna take it out as well um and the other one that i did had is this lollipop one which i used like nine nine times and this is how it looks inside <sighs> i don't know if i should keep this one still i do like it i just don't i don't know uh, i'm not using this much that much maybe i should keep it in this rolling rolling project pan i don't know i i just don't know we'll see but for now i did use it eight times oh another one that you don't even see any progress it's this mary lou from the bomb highlighter you tell me if you can see anything in here because it doesn't look like i use this one at all and i did use it i used it 13 times but you just can't see it um so that kind of tells you it takes a long time to definitely see anything in uh a highlighter like this one so I'm definitely not gonna purchase highlighters for many many years to come but I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one in the next rolling project pan but I did use it 13 times at least I got some use out of it you know what I mean all right mascaras I did finish all three of them so I have um, a Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, I had a uh, ABH Lash Brag, and I also had a uh, Highly Rated Milani, they're all um, mini sizes, right, so I did use them all, they're all dried up. Um, the Lash Brag one, I used it 10 times, the Marc, ja Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir I used it 18 times, and Milani used it 17 times, so these are all empty I'm gonna move on to something different for sure and uh, man we have a lot to go through Whew. okay so for lips for lips I went with this Jocelyn hair bullet lipstick in independent this is how much I have in it right now um I did use it quite some times I think I use it what 14 times I think I'm just gonna discard this or maybe like I'm gonna call it like I did finish it um, because I'm not gonna use this anymore so yeah I have so many others in my uh, lipstick collection that I need to go through that I'm not gonna lose my brain over something that it's not necessarily an amazing product it's an okay you know what I mean um, and then next in here, something that I'm really excited to share with you, it's this first piece. I finished it all. I don't have anything left in here. This is a really good product. This is called Flavor Crystal Lip Balm in Red Raspberry. And I really, really love this. I think I may go and repurchase this. It was so good and I use it so much. I really enjoyed it. Now this one right here, this is the flower one. This is a lip balm again. And this one I have not, um, I did made a big dent in there, but I have not, was, I was not able to actually use it 
more. And this one, I used it for like 20 times. The same with the other ones, I used it around 20 times. Now for the KKW, we have this pencil right here. I used this one uh, 18 times. I really love this one. Um, and I uh, am glad I got more use out of it. Okay, we're getting to the end. Okay, <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Um, next in here, I have this uh, eyeliner from uh, Essence, and let's see how much I have now in it. So this is how much I have in it right now. I use this one a lot. I think I use this one like 17 times. Yeah, so I use this one 17 times, and... Um, I do like it. I'm glad I have it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep using it. Um, also, I have this Physician's Formula that I used it 13 times. I think it's time to let it go. It's starting to dry up a little bit, but I absolutely love this, uh, this liquid eyeliner. It's ultra black. It's so pretty. And the brush is so thin that you can create a really nice eyeliner with this one. Really, really do enjoy this one, but yeah, it's starting to dry up. Next in here, I have this from Stella. I only used it once, okay? Um, this is La Dose, and this is a shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow. I do like it. Like, I'm always saying, I do like it. It's not like I don't like this, because I do like it. The fact uh, is that... I just never am drawn to using them. I forget I have them. I always forget I have them. So, unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of use out of that, but I do really do like it. Now, for eyeshadow palette, this is the eyeshadow palette that I chose to go with. This is the Iconic London, and I really, really do like this eyeshadow palette. But the colors in here are more of a natural look, and I do like to use it. I used it quite some time. I, th I think I used it 17 times, and mostly I use this one in the nudes every day. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one and then add some other ones. I think I'm going to keep this one as like helping other eyeshadow palettes, you know what I mean, to create an, a look. But... I think I'm just going to keep this one in the rolling project. But this is all the, the products that I use. This is the, 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 this is how much uh, progress I made utilizing this. I was able to uh, use a lot of things. I was able to hit some pens. I'm so excited about this. And I am definitely going to... Um, share with you what is going to go into my next project pan and I am going to give myself a week or so to play with some different items and then I'm going to show you in about a week what is going in this next rolling project pen. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you all next time. Bye!